Hello, good morning from Scotland. Hope you're very, very well today. We're doing a bit of a question and answer session today, so if you have any questions, leave it below and I'll answer as many questions as I can throughout the day today. Have a great day. So, do you mean surname? S-U-R-N-A-M-E, surname. Surname is your family name. That's what we use. Some, some people will say your second name, but surname is your family name. Good question. Well, it really depends. If you want to know the vocabulary, then maybe translate. But the idea behind reading is to get an idea of actually what's going on. It would take you forever to do every word. Yeah, if you want to say the correct grammar, it would be, you got it, didn't you? Because got is verb to and didn't is verb to also. So that would be the tag question. You got it, didn't you? That would be the correct one. Well, to be honest, it's a very, very informal abbreviation. So you could do whatever you like, as long as the person understands. For me, TKS would probably sound better. <laughs> For me, I don't really follow English football, but I used to a long time ago and I used to follow Manchester United. Well, neither of them shows two, neither this nor that one. None of them could be two, three, four, five, unspecified amount. So neither is two, none is all of them. <laughs> so there's two pronunciations for this, yeah? So we've got neither, neither, either, either, neither, neither, either, either. We can use both of them, it's no problem. Yeah, I do uh, conversation classes, just small groups, it's very cheap, and if you really want to get involved, then DM me, send me a message, and I'll give you the details. Well, for example, during this pandemic, Scotland could not close its borders, that was done by London and London didn't do it and thousands of people died so that's one reason why. Voting and boating both near, nearly the same pronunciation voting boating voting boating voting boating voting boating voting boating. I think George Galloway has uh, spent more more of his time outside Scotland than I have Maybe that's why his accent is very, maybe softer, I don't know. So it would be, I have gone, I have gone, present perfect. Just means you go somewhere and you have not returned. I went means you go somewhere and you, I guess, return perhaps. So literally, 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 just means exactly what I'm saying. It's literally, minus 10 degrees and I'm freezing exactly what I'm saying so advice with a C is a noun my advice is to stay indoors advise with an S is a verb I advise you to stay indoors so I have and I've got are exactly the same but when we're speaking it's better to say I've got I've got glasses, I've got money, I've got a t-shirt, I've got. No, when we use wait, we wait for something. I will wait for you. I will wait for this. So wait for, with a noun. Wait to do, with a verb. Great question. If we are addressing a lady in a public place, always good to say miss, miss. Excuse me, miss. Can you do this for me? Excuse me, miss. Much better, miss. Very polite. So the pronunciation for this is saline, saline, saline. The saline solution, yeah? Saline, 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 saline. Actually, I love all the seasons. I love the summer for the long nights. I love the winter for the snow, I love the autumn for the changing of the colours, and I love the spring because things are getting warmer again. Hello Canada, you're up early today. Um, for vocabulary, I would say phrasal verbs, much more important than idioms for everyday language, so phrasal verbs. It depends what you want to say, the chair has been broken is correct, 
the chair has broken, the chair doesn't do any action. So that's not correct. So the chair has been broken is correct. So I've gone, we'll use the place. I've been gone, we'll use the time. I've gone to Spain and not come back. I've been gone for 10 years. So that's the difference. Hello Rajasthan, India. Good morning to you. How are you today? It's freezing here in Scotland. My hands are getting really blue with the cold. Hope you're well over there. Take care. Yes, yeah, she don't is not correct grammatically. It's not correct. She doesn't is correct. But a lot of people, especially down in the south of England, might say she don't, but it's not correct grammatically.